Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are starting a new cup. Um, you know me and my thought process. Like, I don't usually have a cup fully planned out to begin with. Sometimes I start with an image. Sometimes I start with a pre-made decal. Sometimes I start with a phrase. Sometimes I just want to play with inks. I don't usually have a fully formed idea. This cup started because... I was out painting a bunch of cups one day when it was kind of nice out and I could get, you know, eight or ten cups prepped in advance. And I was doing them all like black and white and, you know, boring. And um, I saw my lavender lilac spray paint, whatever color you want to call this, I don't know off the top of my head. And I was like, ooh, I'd like to use that color. So that's what started this. This has been sitting here for a couple weeks now. And then I got my Element OP Design Boutique box the other day, and this glitters in it, which is perfect for this. So we're going to do that. And then I got my Butterfly Lane Designs box, and I pulled the ones that were clear with purple. So I have, shh, my coffee and I are having a moment. I will deal with you later. I feel like this needs something brighter. So I'm gonna rule that one out. I'm not a hot mess, I'm a spicy disaster. I think I wanna do like a watercolor ink for this one. And I'm gonna go with this antisocial butterfly one for this. I think it's gonna look cute. So this is the winner. So I am going to apply this chunky mix in the epoxy. I'm going to do that method. And I really feel like I need a bigger cup. So, otherwise this is just going to be a mess. So, I have 30 mLs mixed. And this is one of those techniques that I see a lot. But I don't often do myself. So, I never know exactly how much glitter to use. Um, so it may not be like a super full, full, full coverage, but it should help the chunky to lay down. So I've transferred to a larger cup. I'm going to go ahead and put my glitter in. Again, I never really know how much to use. Because you don't want the epoxy to be um, too saturated, but you don't want it too thin either. So, and Amy did a beautiful job with this mix. Can you see how gorgeous that is? I absolutely love it. So, that's mixed in. I'm going to get my turner on. Hey, I got the right one on the first try. Oh yeah, this is going to be beautiful. But, having the base coat virtually the same color as one of the glitters is going to make it so if it's not a full full coverage it doesn't really matter because I'm not really going for a full glittered cup I just really want the sparkle and the color so just a different way of applying your chunky glitter using epoxy. In theory, this isn't going to require a second coat of epoxy before the decal. In theory, I'm not going to count on that. I'm probably going to need a second coat, but that's just my gut feeling. I could be wrong. The glitter could sink right in and be perfect. That's it. I'm going to let it dry. Y'all, look at how gorgeous that is. I'm going to let it dry, and we will come back in and just get our decal on when it's dry. I just touched that to the back, but just the top edge that I'm going to cut off anyways. 
but I think that's going to be perfect because this does have a little bit of holographic to it. And actually the holographic that's in here is a textured glitter. So it's, I don't know if the camera can pick it up at all. Can you see how that's textured? It's pretty neat. So I think that's going to look cool on there. Okay. So this one is actually surprisingly ready for the next step. So I have the decal trimmed down. So I'm going to get that placed and we're going to go right into our epoxy. Since I already have enough epoxy mixed up for this cup, this is the first coat. This is what you saw me do. It actually laid down absolutely beautifully. So I'm just going to go with it. And I think this decal is so cute on here. So I'm going to get it turned back on. I'm going to get a glove on and we're going to give it a coat of epoxy. I already have some Chaos Resin Liquid Stone Ultra UV mixed, so I am ready to go. This is pretty bubbly. I mixed it fairly quickly. I am just working my way through stuff today, so... All right, let's take a look. Here we go. Isn't that a glitter gorgeous? And there's a little run there, but it'll level itself out. I love that texture and that, that glitter. It's so cool. It's so pretty. And this decal is beautiful. So that is it. I hope you like this one. Different way of doing a chunky glitter that's a little bit um, easier, but still gorgeous. So that is it. Thank you so much. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next one.